the belief in sacrifice comes to mind too that that can come up strong with this the, if you think you have to give up everything in form and and um, there can be this yeah there's a huge belief in sacrifice in the mind there's a huge belief that you give up something that's real and uh, that's very scary and then you hold on even harder you know to it um, so it's very helpful to look at the belief in sacrifice and to read about it in the course it's some really good sections about it um, how, yeah I used to have that real strong belief in sacrifice and and um, of losing losing the ones that I love you know that they they're gonna be taken away I'm gonna lose them and um, David always kept saying it's just you have to just look at the belief in sacrifice you know So I find it so helpful to to pra allow the practice with this, you know. And there was a day or an afternoon, everybody was going to go for a movie. And I was in this, I had started to have those experiences of probably like, yeah, chakra open or whatever, like the spirit, you know. Maybe some of you feel it when you meditate, this energy, you know, and I felt it in my whole head. And I was wondering should I go or not and there is this urge to join with bodies there is this urge to be part of to be you know maybe they're doing something fun maybe the movie is great maybe I'm gonna miss out so it was all those thoughts and uh, and then this teaching remembering now bodies never join and then David comes in with this beautiful helpful thing to me he said um, you never miss out. You never, you can never miss out, he said. So that made me decide to stay. I stayed back, I stayed in the peace house. I had a beautiful meditation or just, you know, a conversation actually with spirit um, for the whole afternoon. And I was, I was just really wanting to take that in. I can never miss out because that is, that's such that that ties into the belief in sacrifice so strongly that okay I, I sacrifice and and when you see other bodies other people having fun and and you observe it you know instead of seeing it as outside of you see it as your thoughts oh there is there is joy because you have joy in your mind and you perceive what you believe it's not the ego's interpretation is that you're outside you miss out that's not the spirit's interpretation. The spirit's interpretation is there are no bodies, actually. <laughs> You're mind. You are mind. And then, of course, if there is fear and pain and, you know, beliefs there that you are, you have, may have memories of being abandoned or, you know, stuff coming up. Okay, work with that. Invite spirit in to those feelings or talk to a mighty companion or journal or whatever. <laughs>